It's Monsters Bay. Godzilla X Kong The Hunted is the prequel comic tie-in to Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. The comic attempts to be the first immediate prequel, leading directly into the events of the succeeding film. The comic was written by Brian Busoletto, returning from Godzilla Fight or Flight. This is the first MonsterVerse comic to combine a Godzilla and a King Kong narrative. As part of this fusion, the book features art by Drew Edward Johnson, returning from Godzilla Aftershock and Godzilla Dominion, collaborating with Zid, returning from Skull Island The Birth of Kong and Kingdom Kong. This comic features additional artwork by Dario Formasani with the cover by Christian Ward. The story begins in 2027 as King Kong goes about his daily life in Hollow Earth. He's attacked by a spine prowler, which he defeats and sends retreating. The Titan unknowingly runs into a trap set up by Raymond Martin, an architect turned big game hunter who sedates the kaiju and has it sent to the surface. Godzilla responds to an unknown signal on an oil rig, which enrages him and causes him to blow it up. Bernie Hayes covers the event live as it happens on his podcast. Turns out Godzilla was lured to the area using a radiation decoy set up by Martin, who has turned his AM construction company into a warehouse for the superspecies corpses that he has hunted on Skull Island. Kong explores a cave in Hollow Earth and discovers a series of cave paintings depicting different creatures fighting amongst each other. One shows Godzilla battling an ice dragon, which will be revealed as Shimo in the next film. Martin triggers another radiation decoy on the surface, luring Godzilla away from his facility while he boots up his Titan Hunter mech, which he's built to help him kill Titans. The radiation decoy winds up luring Scylla to India, where she mistakes it for a nuclear power plant melting down. The Titan Hunter is tested against the Spine Prowler, making quick work of it. Scylla battles the Air Force and then attacks the power plant and feasts upon both its nuclear cores as Bernie covers the event on his podcast. News reports of the event cause Martin to flash back to 2014, where it's revealed his entire family was killed by the female Muto during G-Day and he was left permanently disfigured with a hatred for Titans. Godzilla responds to the attack in India. Two late to stop Scylla and is enraged by the damage. Over the next week, Godzilla tracks Scylla across the globe as she attacks sources of radiation in the UK and Italy. Bernie theorizes she's either prepping to reproduce or planning to go to war with Godzilla. Godzilla arrives in Italy, appearing off the coast, but not following on land. Martin transports the Titan Hunter to Hollow Earth, using his construction company's contract to build Monarch's Hollow Earth facilities as cover and begins his hunt. Martin first kills a war bat and then a skur buffalo. Kong realizes something is wrong and heads out to investigate. Martin then follows the tracks of a spine prowler, which this comic has a big continuity error with, as it treats this as the first time anybody's ever come in contact with the spine prowler, despite us seeing Kong and Martin fight one earlier in the comic. Martin follows the tracks to two baby spine prowlers and is attacked by their mother. On the surface, Scylla begins a rampage in Rome. Godzilla appears off the coast and the two square off, with their battle to be continued in Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. Kong arrives at the transport Martin is using to bring his titan corpses to the surface. He goes on a rampage, destroying everything, and then takes off to find Martin. The Spine Prowler is killed as she impales herself on the Titan Hunter's back. Before he can kill the babies, Kong appears to defend them. The Titan Hunter gets the first shot in, but Kong easily overpowers it. Taking a sucker punch to the face, Kong suplexes the Titan Hunter off a cliff, catching it as it falls. Martin rages about how unfair it is that Kong beat him, and Kong decides to let him plummet off the cliff, exploding at the bottom. The baby Spine Prowlers then go to eat Martin in revenge as Kong heads off on his next adventure. Of the MonsterVerse comics, The Hunted manages to be the fastest read. Lots of the story is told without any narration or dialogue. The comic is a breezy, action-driven narrative that places the kaiju at the forefront of the story. Split between two narratives that start connected and then grow apart, the Godzilla and Kong plots are both done pretty decent. The comic's biggest issue is with the Titan Hunter plotline and with its continuity. Martin is a very flimsy character. His motivations to hunt the Titans don't really make sense. Martin knows the Titan Hunter can't exterminate larger threats like Godzilla or Scylla and so he chooses to hunt weaker titans in Hollow Earth. But the entire reason he does so is because he has a hatred for the larger titans on the surface, like the Muto that killed his family. How a random architect was able to build a functioning radiation decoy that could trick Godzilla, and how that same person could build a mech that can kill titans for less than a billion dollars is beyond me. The entire comic is full of paper-thin writing like this. It took Apex Cybernetics 10 years, with loads of data, research, and the world's best scientists to create Mechagodzilla, and yet, a random man could do this 
this on his own. It breaks the universe in so many ways. Bernie's entire plotline is similarly clunky. While Godzilla chasing Scylla around the world is exciting, how Bernie is able to stay up to date with what's happening with real-time, accurate, top-secret intel is never addressed. The comic doesn't even tie in well with Godzilla Kong, the new empire. Scylla's global rampage isn't addressed in the movie, which acts like Rome is her first attack and Godzilla awakens to stop it. The comic hardly explains why Godzilla is so aggressive towards Scylla either. Bernie offers two separate and equally likely scenarios as to what's going on, but the comic never explains which is correct. It's a strange way to offer solutions while not committing to an answer. The comic has reused scenarios from the film as well, like mentioning World War III or having a Titan do a suplex or having Kong catch someone from falling off a cliff. The Kong story doesn't even match up to the movie a little bit. The comic depicts Kong battling the Titan Hunter at the same time Godzilla is fighting Scylla, but in the film, the Titan Hunter is never mentioned or addressed and Godzilla doesn't fight Scylla until after Kong goes on his dog hunt. Godzilla Kong the Hunted harkens back to the earliest days of the MonsterVerse comics, where studio mandates to have the comics be a prequel to the upcoming film that would release before the movie lead to a lack of quality control and a slew of issues. The story and dialogue are shaky and the world building hasn't been this bad since Godzilla Awakening, but the comics still does have some redeeming quality. The breezy story is great for younger readers, helped by the action-driven narrative, and the action is quite exciting. Kong's life in Hollow Earth is great to see, with his isolated story working very well, removing the context around the Titan Hunter. Kong's characterized great, showcasing his softer and more curious side while also showing that he retains his noble duty to protect innocents and will throw down if needed. Godzilla's story is very similar. Scylla retains her hunger compulsions, leading to a rampage, pulling in Godzilla to try and stop her. Godzilla tracking her down and then battling her feels right out of the King of the Monsters era. Because we're not following Godzilla too closely, his characterization has been restored to its pre-Godzilla vs. Kong status, which is greatly appreciated. This comic is topped off with the second best artwork of any of the MonsterVerse Godzilla comics after Fight or Flight. Zid's creative paneling is always wonderful to see, as is his coloring, use of film geography, and mostly photoreal visuals. It's hard to know which artist contributed what to this comic, but one thing is certain. The apparent visual references that have been done for Godzilla in certain panels or Kong in others leads to the characters going off-model or appearing very awkward and distracting at times. This issue feels consistent with Aftershock and Dominion weighing the entire book down. I can't help but feel Zid's artwork has been dragged down throughout the entire read. The Hunted has a serviceable human story as long as you can overlook the horrible world building and a thrilling kaiju story. The comic is well paced and exciting and does a good surface level job of building up the rivalry between Scylla and Godzilla for the film. The Kong story doesn't match up to the movie at all, but it does work well on its own. The artwork is pretty solid with some wonderful visuals and some subpar moments. It's a shame this comic is plagued with continuity errors, bad writing, and doesn't flow as well into the films as it should. Overall, I would only recommend Godzilla Kong the Hunted to younger fans of the MonsterVerse or to hardcore fans who want to engage in as much of this content as they can. It's not needed to enjoy the film and doesn't really help to flush anything in that movie out at all, but it might enrich your experience of watching that movie in some small ways. Thank you all for watching another episode of MonsterVerse May. I really appreciate it. As we approach the end of MonsterVerse May, I want to thank everybody who supported the channel using the link to the Patreon in the description below. By supporting the Patreon, you are directly supporting this channel and making sure that I can continue to make videos like this for you. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time for the next one. D-Man out.